Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Chair. How's the weather in El Puco? Hi. How's the weather? Hot? It's hot. Always oh, it's, it's hot here. How often do you go to the beach? Um, once a week. Once a week? Yes, yeah, once a week. But I see the beach every day, every working day. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, I think we have enough students, so let's get started with the attendance. So with the first attendance of the evening, we are about to start the third unit for the third week. Alison Andrea Terreno. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. 
Present teacher. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present teacher. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Jennifer Guadalupe Elias. Present teacher. Jose Andres Martinez. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Fabian. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Julio Cesar, the 10 minutes at the end of the class are for you tonight. Okay. Okay, Julio. No, I will tell you. Present teacher. Good. Omar Alexander Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Raul Edgardo Sarceño. Rosalina Esmeralda Sanchez. Present teacher. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Vladimir Alejandro García. Vladimir. William Boris Roque. William Rodrigo Ángel. Okay. Very good. So today we're going to start with lesson three or lesson one, unit three. Well, in this unit, the topic is this. Schedule events at the workplace. Scheduled events. Okay. What are scheduled event what do you understand for scheduled event agenda evento ah yeah eventos agendados o eventos programados scheduled no eventos programados the, the subject for tonight's class is the end of the class, you will be able to drive future work event. Okay, we are going to work with future event. Future event. Okay. Now. We have a couple of questions here. A couple of questions. Question number one says, who scheduled the event at your workplace? And question number two, what are some events that are taking place the next week? Two questions. Think about that, please. Who schedules the event at your work? In my case, 
the thing is the coordinator. The coordinator is in charge of scheduling events at an English corporative. So, and uh, some events that are taking place the next week. Well, I don't think we have any event for the next week. We in our work, but what about you? Tell me who scheduled the event at your work? Ah, uh -huh, I'm listening. I hear you. Who is in charge of the program, the events, to program, to schedule different kind of events? The, maybe seminars, conferences, meetings, uh, I don't know, birthdays, celebrations. In your, in your company, who is uh, in charge of that? Who scheduled the event? Nobody? You don't know? No events? No understand? The church in my, in my company, I believe, or I think, uh, just in December, uh, have events like uh, the um, Christmas, uh, Christmas uh, lunch, but just oh, yeah. in December. Ah. So you don't have meetings, you don't have seminars, conferences, no. Okay. Anyone else? Sure. Sure. Uh -huh, will. In my workplace is the uh, general manager. The schedules, the events. And what are some common events you have in your training, your for example? Training okay. for for the personal of the plant and the new new personal. Ah, okay. Good. Anyone else? And the next uh -huh. week. Uh-huh. The next week we have a a product inspection. Okay. Good. Uh -huh, Andres. Uh, well, we, my company when we have a little group of new employees of security wars, uh, sometimes they make a events like uh, shooting practice. I don't know if it's, it's, it's correct to say shooting practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And who, who schedules that? Um, me and Noel, my boss and me. Ah, okay. And my... Uh, Supervisors. Pricer. 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 Okay. Good. So the others, you don't have training, seminars, conferences. Uh, teacher, in my case, in my work, uh, every day I have the meeting in the morning at seven o'clock. Every Eight. day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Well, so in this class, we're going to talk about future events. 
teacher. <clears throat> teacher, uh -huh. I go work next Friday, drink coffee in the morning. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Let's take a look at this conversation between Peter and Henry. Okay. Let me record the conversation here in WhatsApp for you. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. Oh, I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Listen one more time. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria. But Julie is attending the conference this year, too. Oh? See. Yeah. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. It's practice. Repeat after me. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria. But Julie is attending the conference this year, too. Oh? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year, too. So. The year, too. So. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? I see, see but if, okay. if Julie is attending, is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next the week? Presentation for the CEO next week. Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Guess what? what? I am. Yeah, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Sounds great. Right. Right. So yeah, I, I am informing the committee about it. About. Okay. Good. Now, I am Peter. You are Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Hey, well, Peter. Hey, Peter. Maria is. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference, conference this, year this year too. Year too. So, so. so. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. 
on Thanos. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Good. Now you are Peter, okay? You begin. One, two, three. Hello, Hello, Henry. Henry. I have a question. Who is this reference the company in the yearly conference? Company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So? I see. I see. I see. But, but if you is Julie attending, is attending, the presentation, the presentation for the CEO next week. Next week. Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new account. Sounds great. So, so I am informing the committee about it. About About it. About it. Okay. Very good. Any question with the conversation? No, teacher. No. No. Oh, yeah. How is the how is the meaning of guess? Ah, uh, yes. Plus, guess what? Some guess what? Uh, guess what? Uh -huh. Son palabras que casi no la no la entendí. Guess what? Guess what? Anybody knows what is the meaning of guess what? Como una pregunta. It's like, ¿qué piensas? No. Mm. Adivina qué. ¿Sobre qué? No. Adivina qué. Adivina qué. Guess what? Adivina ¿Sabe? qué. Es adivina. Es what? No, como dándole la sorpresa. Él le pregunta, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Henry le dice, adivina qué? I am. Dos. Ok. Uh, había otra pregunta, creo. And how is the meaning of the sounds great? Great. Sounds great. What, what suena, is the meaning? Suena bien. Suena bien. Sounds great. Suena bien. Suena genial. Suena genial. La idea de sound. Um, Now I have a question for you. What is the CEO? The CEO is a position in a company. Is the top position, the highest position, a position más alta in a company. CEO stands for if President Executive Officer. What is the meaning of CEO? Chief Executive Officer. So is the main authority. Es la autoridad principal. Es el, well, maybe in El Salvador we, we say the general manager. ¿no? El gerente general. Queramos decir. So that is the, the CEO. The chief executive officer. Okay. No van a escuchar que dicen, oh, the general manager. No. The CEO. Maximum authority. Okay. 
Any other question? Okay, now uh, you are going to practice the conversation. And after that, you have to complete the sentence. Complete the following sentences. Use the conversation above to help. Button the complete. De acuerdo a vean en la conversación. Esto solo es. Okay. So I will send you to work in pair. Solo Vladimir. Let me form the group. Okay. Okay, please go to your groups and practice that conversation and complete the sentences from exercise three. See you in 10 minutes. Go to your group, please.
Ger, me puede mandar al grupo de nuevo. Ok, ok.
Okay, welcome back. Let's check your pronunciation. Okay. First, I want to hear Eric. I don't know. Eric, are you there? Eric Mauricio, one. Eric Mauricio, two. Eric Mauricio, not present. Okay. Entonces, Vladimir with Edwin. Please understand the conversation. Vladimir and Edwin. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yes. Edwin, you are Peter. Vladimir, you are Henry. Okay. I began. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hello. Okay. So oh, Edwin and Rosalina. Okay, teacher. Then please, Edwin. Okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Now um, Carla and Omar. Okay. Omar, okay. are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. So, Omar, you are Peter. Carla, you are Henry. Okay. okay. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is represent, representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is but Julie is attending the conference this year to show. I see, but if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Where's what? I am I'm presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Thank you. Now, uh, Carlos and Virginia. Okay, Carlos, you are Peter. Virginia, you are Henry. Hey, teacher. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter, uh, with Maria, my Julie is attending the, com the conference uh, the two year two. I see, but if Julie is attending, 
who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week. And guess what? I am, I am presented, presented to you a network director, Nick Aconta. Sound great. So I am informing the committee, committee about it. Okay, thank you. Now, Alison and let's see, Raul. Are you there, Raul? Raul. Okay, so Alison and Gilberto. Gilberto, you are Peter. Alison, you are Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is back. Julie is attending the conference the year two, so. I see. Who is Julie is attending? Who is delivering the representation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Tom Gray. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Andres and Daniel. This your Peter, Daniel, your Henry. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So. I see, but this Julie is attending. Who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, thank you. Now, please, Julio and Noe. Julio, you are Peter, Noe, you are Henry. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is represent the company in the yearly conference? Hi, Peter. Where Maria is, both, both Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, is she built is Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am I am pre presenting with Hector, the new content. content. So I'm great. So I am informing the community about it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, um, very good. Now, let me. Bring forth some work. First. This word. Press it here. Who is representing? Who is representing? Pastor, who is representing? Who is representing? The stress is here. Not representing, okay, but representing. 
the same with the same with this. Presenting, presenting, this is here. I am presenting with Hector, presenting. Another one. This, no, it's not great, it's great, great. Okay, this, yes, 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 this, CEO, CEO, who is the CEO, CEO, presentations for the CEO. Okay, CEO. And this committee. Committee. This goes here. The committee. Okay. So be careful. Okay. Well, <clears throat> now, how did you complete this sentence? He is, number one, he is presenting. Presenting. Yeah. He is presenting the new employee. And number two, I am. I am. I am informing. I am informing Kitty about that. So, if you observe, we have this uh, form. Who is representing the company? Okay. Who is representing? Julie is attending. Julie is attending. I am presenting. I am presenting. I am in for me. I am informing. Okay. So, in these sentences, when when they say, for example, Julie is presenting. No, Julie is attending the conference this year. Is that about present or future? When they say Julie is attending the conference this year, is Henry talking about present or future? Future. Present. Present. Is she in the conference right now? No. No. Yes. He's talking, Henry is talking about future. Okay. Julie is attending the conference here. The question who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Is Present or future? Present. 
Which? Is future. Which? Future. When Henry says, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Present or future? Present. Present. Future too. Future. This question, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Present or future? Future. 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 Yeah. I am informing the, the committee about it. Present or future? Future. Present. Present. Future. Present. All of this is about future. Okay, they are talking about activities they are going to do in the future. Julie is attending the conference. Julie, uh, I am presenting the with Hector. I am informing the committee. So I'm talking about future. They are talking about future. Teacher, it's uh, correct. The things that is going to happen or the things that is go to happening. Now you, you could say the things that are happening or the things that are going to happen. Thanks, teacher. So, I know that we have studied the present continuous to talk about present or actions in the moment. But we can also use present continuous for future events. Okay. Here we are using present continuous for future events. Okay. So we use present continuous to talk about arrangement for events at a time later than now. We use present continuous to talk about arrangement. What is arrangement? Arreglo. Okay. For event. At a time later than now. Arreglo for event. Un tiempo posterior than now. So, we use present continuous to talk about scheduled events. Events that we have scheduled. Events that we have programmed. Okay? So we use present continuous to talk about these kind of events. Remember the structure for present continuous. Okay. For present continuous, we use subject plus verb plus the main verb in gerund plus complement. Okay. For example, I. The subject, am, is the verb be. Meeting is the verb in gerund or ing form. Okay, meet, meeting. And the complement, the intern tomorrow. This action will take place in the future. 
tomorrow. No, it's not present, it's future. I am meeting the interns tomorrow. Okay. Uh, let's take a look to this question. What time is Barbie Maria subject interviewing verb in Jerun the people? This is a question. The order is different because it's a Okay, we have the question word. What time? B is Maria subject interviewing the verb in Jerun, the people, the complex. The answer. She, the subject, is the B interviewing the verb in Gerald. She is interviewing them. I am writing. I am sending. I am writing the report next week. Nice. I am sending it as soon as you finish. Okay, so here we are talking about future events. We use the present continuous to talk about future events. Any question here? Okay, let me show you this chart. Present continue. Okay. Positive or affirmative form. Positive or affirmative form. Okay, remember, I am the contraction, I'm, are, your, is, his, is, his, it is, it, we are, we're, they are, they're, working. I'm working, you're working. He's working, he's working, it's working, we're working, they're working. For example, I'm working this Saturday, future. You're working on Sunday, future. Okay? The negative form. Negative form. I am not. I'm not. You are not. You aren't. He. I am not. I'm not. You are not. You aren't. He is not. He isn't. She is not, she isn't. It is not, it isn't. We are not, we aren't. They are not, they aren't. And the verb is gerund. Example, I'm not working on Sunday. You aren't working tomorrow. He isn't working next week. We aren't working next year. They aren't working this afternoon, future. 
Now, the yes, no questions. Am I, are you, is he, is she, is it, are we, are they working? Teacher. Yes? I can't see it. Really? Tampoco, fíjese. No, no veo lo que está haciendo. Ah. Como que se trabó también. Creo oh, que la pijero y puse en blanco. Minado, <risa> <risa> piso. Está bueno. Ok, one more time. Ah, can you see it now? Yes. 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 So, affirmative. Okay. I am, you are, he is, he is, and we are, they are. Negative. I am not, you're not, he's not, she's not, he is not, we are not, they are not. Question. Am I? Are you? Is he? Is she? Is it? Are we? Are they working? Third answers for this question. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, it is. We are. Negative quest answer. No, I am not. No, you are not. No, not. No, she's not. No, it is not. No, we are not. No, they are not. So this is just a summary of affirmative, negative, and question of present continuous. Okay? So I know that we use present continuous for actions in the moment. So I say, I am working right now. You are studying right now. But we can also use it for future. I am working tomorrow. You are studying tomorrow. Okay? Present and future. Any question? No, teacher. No. Okay. So, solo quería mostrarles pues que en sus diferentes formas. Recordarles. Present continuous. Okay. Well, we have an exercise here in the book. In the manual, where you have to unscramble, desenredar the, the following words to create sentence. For example, number one, the is receiving the new workers to me. Remember the order, object. Or be verb in gerund and the company. Okay. So please complete okay. the sentences two, three, four, five, and six. Correct or There you are.
please, when you finish, raise your hand, okay?
Okay, please write in the chat sentence number two. Everybody, please. Everyone, write in the chat sentence number two. Here in Zoom. Knowing what's up in Zoom. Come on, write in the chat, please. Sentence number two. One, two, three, A ver, a ver, and the mass, todos, please, todos. Okay. Okay, Mark is sending the letters the next week. Uh, the time expressions usually go at the end of the sentence. Okay, the time expressions the next week, in the afternoon, tomorrow, tonight, next year, etc. They go at the end of the sentence. Okay, now number three, please. Write sentence number three. Remember the time expressions go at the end. Okay, let me write it here. Jane is working on the report. Good, time expression tonight at the end. Number four, please. Okay. Four, number four.
time expressions at the end. Time expressions at the end. So we have algunos que me están colocando en medio. Walter is signing the check today. Okay. Number five. Write number five, please. Okay, that's better. Pena is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Good. Now, number six. Okay. Good. Very good. Let's practice this sentence, okay? Well, I'm going to record them in the one. Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Two, Mark is sending the letters the next week. Three, Jane is working on the reports tonight. Four, Walter is signing the checks today. Five, Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Six, Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Okay. Now repeat after me, please. Who says receiving the new worker tomorrow? Who says receiving the new the new workers tomorrow? Workers tomorrow. Mark is sending the letter the next week. <coughs> Mark is sending the letter the next week. Jane is working on the reports tonight. Walter is signing the check today. Walter is signing the check today. today. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. 
Any question, people? No, teacher. Sorry? Okay. Um, so, I want you to write five sentences about activities that you are going to do this week. Five activities that you are doing this week. Preferable from your work. Preferable. But if not, in general, okay? So for example, I am checking my email tomorrow morning. I am visiting the clients on Friday, etc. Okay, but using present continuous. Okay, five activities you are going to do this week. Right. You finish, raise your hand. Real information. Real information.
Omi five. Anyway, I'm going to send you to a small group to talk about your activity, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, take turns to talk about your center. Turn. Okay, Ivan. Hablando de sus activities. Okay, talk about your activity. Go to your group, please, and talk about your center.
Okay. So quickly, give me one of your sentence. Tell me one activity you are doing this week. Okay, Edwin. I am inspecting product for export on Tuesday of next week. Okay, Andre. I doing the payroll for all the security wars tomorrow. Good, Omar. I am attending the meeting on Friday afternoon. Good, Carlos. The meeting, meet, meet, meeting. The next week. Repeat, please. I didn't hear. Okay. I organize, I organize the meeting the next week. Okay. Rosalina. I am organizing the birthday to my cousin the next week. Okay. Virginia. I am trading tomorrow morning. Good. Julio. I call I calling my clients tomorrow afternoon. Hey, Daniel. I I'm going to install air conditioner in the Cocoa Beach tomorrow with my partners. Hey, Noé. I am playing soccer every day. Hey, Alison. I am making returns on day. Okay, Carla. I check my agenda every day. I am checking. I am checking. Okay. I am checking my agenda every day. Alberto. I, I am calling. My client on Monday. Okay. Salvador. I, I, I am planning a video conference to next week. Okay. No way. Eric. I am serving client at, at work. Okay, William. Raul. I am playing video game tonight. Okay, very good. So we studied today that we use present continuous to talk about future events, okay? Very good will be all for today so i'm going to take the last attendance of the okay alison andrea serrano present teacher okay good night Nine. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present. Okay. Eh, Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Okay. Elvis Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Okay, Eric Mauricio Cruz. Present teacher. Alberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Unai. Hi, Jennifer Guadalupe Díaz. Jennifer Guadalupe Díaz. Jose Andrés Martínez. Present teacher. Good night. Hi. Julio César Fabián. Present teacher. Okay. Noel Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher, good night. 
Okay, Omar Alexander Chávez. Present teacher, good night. Okay, Raúl Eduardo Sarceño. Present. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher, good night, see you tomorrow. Okay, Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Okay, Tina del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher, good night. Hola, okay. Alejandro García. Vladimir Alejandro García. Eh, William Boris Roque. Present teacher. And William Rodrigo Ann. Okay, people. Have a good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. Okay, Julio. Es tiempo para okay, hacer preguntas. Uh, ahorita, este, no tengo muchas preguntas, solamente con respecto al uso de la plataforma, nada más. Ajá. Este, no sé si me da permiso de compartir. Okay. okay. Ahí está. Eh, vaya. El curso, prácticamente creo que yo en, en, en todas las unidades ya, como siempre me quedo después de clase y a veces me he adelantado, entonces este, yo ya he hecho hasta acá, no sé si es que me adelante mucho o, este, lo, o hice mal algo. Si gusta, le puedo demostrar el progreso. Ah, sí. Sí, aquí tengo que ya lo hiciste todo. Ah, ok. Vaya, este... De ahí sería solamente con las... Las palabras que a veces sí me, se me es difícil a veces eh, decirlas correctamente. Son, o sea, son palabras como, por ejemplo, las dos que vimos ahora. Eh, esta, por ejemplo, las tengo aquí anotadas. Eh, Sign night. Sig signing. 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 Eh, y la otra es eh, work, work it. Worker. Eh, no sé si, le, si más o menos me entiende. Worker. Trabajador. Worker. Sí. En esas palabras y, y con el uso del ING. Ajá. ¿Qué pasa con el uso del ING? Este, hay, en, hay ocasiones en que la, la me ha costado mucho, por ejemplo, el verbo usar el ING. Por ejemplo, en estas oraciones, las últimas que me dejó, este se me había olvidado y mi compañero ahí me ayudó para cambiarle el eh, yo solo había puesto I have to call y mi compañero me dijo que era eh, calling sí, mira I have to call es, es, 
Es una oración correcta. Uh -huh. Ahora, lo que estábamos haciendo era practicando el present continuous. Por eso debía ser I am calling. Ajá, sí. Solo que como no le había entendido muy bien, como lo dijo en inglés, ¿verdad? No le Ajá. había entendido muy bien. Entonces, este, yo solo hice la oración en base a la, a la actividad que realizo diario. Ok. ¿Qué? A ver, ya que lo entendiste, ¿qué actividades tienes que hacer esta semana? Dímelas con el, con el present continuo. Um, uh, esa de I, I'm calling my clients. Um, and the Friday, o sea, viernes. Y no sé cómo le puedo cambiar el verbo cuando voy a hacer un inventario miércoles. ¿Qué verbo? Uh -huh. ¿Qué Yo tengo que, tengo que realizar un inventario el miércoles. ¿Ah? ¿Cómo dirías esto en inglés? And, and, ahí sí, no, no le sabría decir. ¿Me puede yeah. ayudar? Sí, pero estamos hablando de hacer. Ajá. Um, I am. ¿Sí? Eh, realizing, realizar como es. No, no, no. No use realizar. Hacer. hacer. How to. No es hacer. Eh, ese yo tengo. <ríe> Uh -huh. uh, este ah uh, no no sé ya perdí la oh, no, está bloqueando. <ríe> ya me agarraron el nervio ya <ríe> tranquilo hacer hacer ejercicio hacer tarea ok um, tengo que bueno lo que voy a hacer de ahora en adelante este es hacer oraciones y voy, a, y voy a volver a utilizar lo que es los verbos, tanto posesivos como sustantivos, negativos y después pues voy a ver si ya mejoro. Ay, pero como dirías, Ay. vas a hacer el inventario. El verbo es do, make, es make. Ah, ok, entonces sería I am do make Vamos a usar do make o uno de los dos va a usar I am do I am I am do inventory Do or do it I am do it inventory Doing inventory Tomorrow, por ejemplo, mañana. Tomorrow. Uh -huh. Ok. Voy a anotar. Doing, doing. Oh, doing. Doing. ¿Qué otra oración habías hecho? Eh, ah, solamente la de la llamar a mis clientes. ¿Alguna no habías hecho? Ajá, esa es la que había hecho. Que esa la había editado porque mi compañero me dijo que estaba mala. Ah. <ríe> esa oración. ¿Qué más tienes que hacer? Bueno. Eh, tengo, que tengo que aprender a, a agregar, bueno, a, eso de agregar el ING, ¿verdad? Y... No, en tu trabajo, ¿qué más tienes que hacer esta semana? Ah, ok. Este... Tengo que cuadrar caja antes de, antes de cerrar tienda. Caja registradora. Ah, ok. Ahí sí. Es así me va a costar traducirla. <risa> ya. No. Eh, cuadrar caja. ¿Cómo lo puedo poner?
quiero ver. Porque no creo que le pueda, no creo que le ponga o cree. Mmm. Valen. Okay. Pero tengo que ponerlo en continuo, va. Sí. Verbo es. Balance. Ah, ready. Um, I am. Verbo en I am. And balance, balancing. Y está como, por ejemplo, no sé, no sé, ahí me, me dice usted si está bien. I am going to score cash. No. Ahí te puse ya la oración. Ok, quiero ver. I am balancing. Pero, la estoy pronunciando balance. bien. Balancing. 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 The cash register. Ok. ING. O sea, aquí en la palabra, profe, se, bo, se quita la E, ¿verdad? Y se agrega la ING. Ok. Ok, eh, Julio, it's time. Thank you, teacher. Ay, gracias. Disculpe. No, no hay problema. Sí. Tengo que practicar más, entonces. Ok, okay. have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye.